Georgia Local Weather Authority forecast. It's the calm before the dusty weather. This is a live look at Odessa early on your Friday morning. Actually a little bit breezy out there, but this is just the prelude to what's to come later today. As we do notice, we can see the Bank of America Tower in Odessa right now. Pretty good visibility, a little bit hazy, very clear skies for the most part. Some very high altitude thin clouds rolling on through the basin right now and we are going to be seeing even more clouds more dust eventually dropping temperatures we do notice this big hook in the clouds thicker clouds from new mexico into the panhandle moving southward rain showers in northern and eastern areas of the panhandle of texas and eventually those rain showers will move farther to the south with these clouds moving even farther south into the basin bringing in much more than we have dust and eventually dropping temperatures winds make us more than 40 to 50 miles per hour wind advisory in effect till 8 p.m central time including hector and midland counties down toward the rio grande also into places like Martha and Alpine and also Presidio where that will be in effect till 7 p.m. Mountain Time that wind advisory. Calm right now a little bit breezy mostly clear skies 61 right now in the tall sea with a south southwest wind of 14 miles per hour gusting to 25 miles per hour. Pretty dry out there 34 percent relative humidity but becoming more humid with more clouds and eventually dropping temperatures after early this afternoon when that cold front really comes on through. 50s and 60s from Maine to start rising only into the 50s and 60s in northern areas or right along I-20 high 60s lower 70s 70s in Fork Stockton 80s in Dryden may even reach low 90s in Presidio but 40s and 50s possible from Carlsbad to Hobbs later this afternoon and this evening right around 3 p.m. that cold front really coming farther southward 50s in Marfa and Alpine by 7 p.m. low to mid 80s in Presidio after a high temperature in the low 90s this afternoon, eventually dropping there into the 40s overnight. So again, 3 p.m. I think that'll be the hour where that cold front really comes on through. A reinforcing shot of cooler air, 63 at 3 p.m. With a lot of dust, with strong winds, some clouds, and even a slight chance of rain in far northern and eastern areas. Winds coming from the south and west right now start to switch a little bit more from the west northwest in Carlsbad and Hobbs, where colder air is already making its way through. Later this morning, the cold air starts to come on through with winds coming in from the north at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Those reds indicate the stronger winds from Andrews and Seminole and Hobbs. And then a reinforcing shot of stronger winds right around 3 p.m. As I mentioned, coming through winds sustained at 30 or more miles per hour, gusting to 50 miles per hour in the tall city. And even stronger winds in these purple colored areas later this evening near Marfa and Alpine, where temperatures will eventually plummet overnight. In the 40s with mostly clear skies and eventually much lighter winds much later in the overnight at the north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. A mix of clouds and sun, thunder showers mostly north and east of Midland and Odessa, but maybe clipping places like Big Spring, Big Lake, and maybe in the northern eastern part of Midland County before we start to see clear skies and the dust settle overnight with mostly clear skies. Starting off in the 30s and 40s tomorrow morning. Mid to upper 70s tomorrow afternoon with mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny on Sunday. 92, warmer air on Sunday, and also a little bit more in the way of humid air eventually. But we got to get through the dust today before that humid air and the higher rain chances ensue as we head into later next week.